to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and in this video, we're going to take a look at EIGP and the passive interface command. We're going to see what it does and how it's different than other routing protocols like RIP and OSPF. We're using our updated topology zero with our two routers and two loopbacks. I've got my configs already typed in into router one, our, our IP addressing configs, that is. So we're just going to do a show IP interface brief to make sure everything is up. And we're going to verify that we have our next top connectivity by pinging 10, 10, 12, 2. We have a success. So now all we have to do is start EIGRP. So comp T router EIGRP 1, no auto, network of all zeros to throw everything into EIGRP. Pretty easy stuff. We're going to go to R2, same deal, router EIGRP1, no auto, network, all zeros, all zeros, and in a couple seconds, bam, oh, I had my debugs already turned on, <laughs> exit out of there, uh, you all, okay, so let's pretend that you didn't see that, debug IP EIGRP, and we're going to take a look at, uh, how about debug EIGRP packets? And hello. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the EIGRP hello packets coming to and from the router. And you could see we are sending hellos, we're receiving hellos. Life is pretty good. And these are pretty busy, but that's EIGRP and how it works on fast Ethernet. Okay, so we're getting stuff from router 1 and we can... We can tell that's working because we are receiving, somewhere in here, if I do a you all, received hello on fast ethernet 00 from neighbor 10.10.12.1, which is this guy right here on router one. It's actually the fast ethernet 00 interface of router one. So life is good. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn the debug back on. Debug EIGP packets hello. It's very chatty. I'm going to move router one over. How about there? Okay, there we go. I'm gonna go over to router one and I'm going to go into interface or actually I'm gonna stay inside of EIGRP. Let's see if there's any passive interface command. Sure is, passive interface, suppress routing updates on an interface. So we'll do passive dash interface, question mark, fast ethernet zero zero. So we're gonna put Fast Ethernet 00, which is in between router 1 and router 2, into passive mode. Hit enter right there. And you could see as soon as I did that, I'm going to do you all on router 2. As soon as I did that, you could see here interface goodbye received. Okay, so the interface, the router was smart enough to shoot a message over to router 2 and basically saying, see ya, I'm out of here. And we've got neighbor 10, 10, 12, 1, interface is down, interface goodbye received. EIGP is smart enough to know that that guy does not want to talk, does not want to receive hellos, does not want to talk to the other neighbors. And if we do a show IP route, we've got no D route there, no EIGP route. If we do a show IP, how about a show IP protocols? We'll do that, show IP protocols. We only see, okay, so we have a gateway here, 10, 10, 12, 1, but really, we're not getting any routes. So it's kind of a trick. No D routes right there. Let's go over to router 1. Show IP route. Got no D routes there, so it has killed the signaling, the EIGP signaling from both sides. This is different than, than how you see it in RIP and OSPF because in those protocols, the passive interface command will kill outgoing updates. So in this case, if we were running RIP and we did a passive interface, router one would actually stop sending updates to router two, okay? Router one would stop sending updates to router two. This is the same as what we see in EIGP when you do the passive interface. So those two things are the same. But the difference is in RIP, we are also accepting updates. So we don't send, we only accept. Well, with EIGRP, it's a little different. It's a little tricky because if we stop sending hellos to router two, 
we actually don't form any adjacency. And if we don't form an adjacency, then we're not even going to take updates from router two or any anyone else on the other side of this interface. So it's a little tricky by putting interface fast zero zero into passive interface, we essentially kill the EIGRP connection and the routing updates on this link. And that is different than with RIP because with RIP, you kind of still have a connection and you're still able to receive updates on the link. Okay, so let's do a show run just to see how it looks. We'll go on router one, Conf uh, show run. Let's see how it looks over here, it's building the configuration. And you could see here under the fast ethernet interface configuration, there's nothing about passive interface here. Okay, so it's IP address, duplex, all that good stuff, speed. The passive interface is actually gonna be under router EIGRP1, passive interface, fast ethernet zero, zero. So it's kind of tricky if you're looking under the interface, you won't actually find it there. You'll actually find it under router EIGRP. Another thing you could have done is you could have done a show run pipe I, and if you're looking for a particular interface and you're seeing what characteristics or what options are set for it, you could do fast ethernet. You know, show run pipe I fast ethernet, and that will show you all the commands that have fast ethernet with them. Let's see here, it's case sensitive, so we'll hit the up arrow. Capitalize the F, capitalize the E. That should work. There we go. So we have an interface command here, we have an interface command there, and then we have a passive interface fast ethernet zero zero. So just remember it is case sensitive if you're doing the pipe I command. All right, so that was a quick and easy video on the passive interface command and how it differs. Essentially, with all the other routing protocols, you are still able to receive updates, you just won't send. In EIGRP, same deal in that you're not gonna send out, but if you don't send out, you can't form an adjacency, and effectively, you are stopping anything coming back in. No adjacency, no receiving of updates, no sending of updates, this EIGRP connection is dead. And we could verify that. We know we don't have any IP routes in here from EIGRP. You can see right there, I still do have hop to hop connectivity. I can ping the other side, that's not a problem. But if I ping the loopback address of all twos, we are dead in the water, dead in the water. All right, so that was a look at the passive interface command. In the next video, I'll show you the default passive interface command, and we'll see how that works. Thanks for watching.